Hello everyone and welcome to another Starbase video! As you might have noticed, we just released a new trailer for Starbase. This trailer, as well as all the other Starbase videos we've published, have been filmed entirely in-game. Nothing has been added in post-production and no scenes have been animated separately. We filmed everything by simply starting up the game and controlling the ghost mode as the camera. The robots you see in the trailer are real players doing their job as actors, so filming the trailer wasn't actually too different from filming a live-action video. We did, however, have a few custom emotes made specifically for the trailer, which you can see at work here. This is the emote that was used in the scene where the two robots discover the city on the moon. However, as Starbase hasn't yet been made public and only us here at Frozenbyte have access to the game, we only had a limited number of players available to act in the trailer. Nevertheless, we wanted some of the scenes to have a lot more ships than we had employees, and thus we had to improvise. So, in order to create the trailer scenes with a massive number of ships, we used a mixture of real players and simulations. This video will explain how we created these scenes and why we were confident enough to use the simulated ships by explaining some of the underlying technology and the stress tests we've performed. At first, all of the extra ships we used were just ships that had been modified using the in-game programming language. They were programmed to start flying straight and or shooting when they receive a specific message from a transmitter from another ship. So, for example, in this scene, we had one person whose job was to change the transmitter's message to A so that the ships start flying. Thus, we were able to film these scenes easier by not having to bother any extra people just to pilot a bunch of ships. However, for example, in these battle scenes, all of the ships are piloted by Starbase developers actually fighting each other. Then we decided that it would be great to have a lot more ships than that in some of the scenes, so we began testing our technology. So, here we are testing the rendering performance with a thousand ships. From this distance, the ships we see are the LOD versions of the ships. This means that the 3D model's level of detail has been reduced when the ships are seen from far away in order to make the rendering more efficient. When we move closer to the ships, they fully load and we can see that the ships can be interacted with and damaged. However, the LOD ships don't take damage as we are only fully loading some of the closest ships. But if the LOD ships were actual player ships, the damage would work on the LOD versions of the ships as well, since the damage would be calculated on their end. Now let's move on to testing NetSync. Let's add a thousand ship LODs that are spinning, which is the most demanding on the networking side. Here we can see what this looks like for the player that is currently the host. In the corner there is the same view from another player who is a client. As you can see from these two views side by side, the ships are indeed in sync. So, since we found that these tests were successful, we were confident enough to place the hundreds of ship LODs in the trailer. Here are all the scenes where we used the LOD ships. There are 67 ships in the background of the clips shot at the corner station in the beginning of the trailer, 181 here at the Octa station, and around 900 Imperial ships in this scene where the huge fleet is first shown, but in which only about 500 can be seen in the clip. Then there were the scenes shot at the city on the moon, where we used 51 ships. The clip where we used the largest number of ships was this one where the Imperial fleet is flying towards the Kingdom outpost, with a total of 1027 ships. Now, the tests we performed weren't by any means foolproof ways of testing how many ships the game can handle, but that's what we hope the Alpha will help with. We are very much looking forward to testing how everything works with the same numbers of real players. Remember to join our Discord server for all the latest news about the upcoming Alpha Access at discord.gg starbase. <laughs>